Hi everybody, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Today we are going to be looking at the LG X Power um, Android smartphone. Uh, this has a 5.3 inch screen, comes with an Android 6.0, and it's a mid range category phone. Um, and it has some cool bells and whistles, I must admit. And uh, for the price, um, you're getting quite a lot of good value. So, that, with that being said, let's uh, take a closer look at the LG X Power by LG. Hi everybody, welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Today we're going to be looking at the LG X Power. This is a nice mid-range Android phone. Comes with a 5.3 inch screen. Um, and it's pretty lightweight. Um, if you look on the side here, it's very, very simple design. There's a little power switch right here on the side. And there's nothing else. Uh, along the top here, we just have a, just have a little microphone. And that's it. And then along this side here, we have our volume key that you rock up and down. And then here is a bay, which we can open. I'm going to open it and see what we have inside here. I suspect you can put in a micro SD card. And I'm also, um, uh, in addition to the micro SD card, of course, I'm suspecting that you, this is where you put your SIM card as well. So I'll confirm that. And along the bottom, we have our mini USB port. And, of course, our good old friend here, the 3.5 millimeter jack. And there's also a microphone at the bottom there as well. Now, again, this is a mid-range phone. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't look and feel like a mid-range phone to me. It does feel like a nice high-end phone. I mean, the, the screen is pretty nice. Um, now, the resolution on the screen, it's 720 by 1280 pixels. So, it's not like, you know, super, like a super... Uh, high resolution phone that you would find like on the Galaxy S7 or something but hey for a mid-range phone uh, to the naked eye the graphics look pretty good to me to be honest again for a mid-range phone that's impressive um, the back has a matte black finish as you can see by how the light reflects off of it it could smudge if you have oily hands my hands are dry this evening but no, I don't really see it smudging that much, but there is that possibility that if you do have oily hands, uh, you may it may smudge. And here's the camera at the back. This is a um, uh, 13 megapixel camera, uh, and um, there's a little flash there. Now the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera, right? So more than more than enough uh, for when you're doing your video chats and whatnot. Now. This particular one uh, comes with a uh, 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. Now, quad-core is pretty standard for a mid-range phone, um, and it's you know designed to do all the basic daily tasks as well as play your games. And you know me, when I do phone reviews, I'm more uh, t more interested in how well they play games as well because I like to play games on my phones as well as use them for work and other purposes. So I have a little paper clip here. Uh, so I just want to see what's inside this bay. As I said, it's long enough. It's pretty long, so I'm guessing that it holds both the micro SD card for additional memory, as well as the SIM card. So I'll just pull this out. And yeah, I'm correct. So on the right hand side, you have your micro SD card um, bay, and on the left hand side here, you put your SIM card. Okay, okay. Alright, standard size SIM card. Uh, there you go. Now, I did mention that this is a 5.3 inch screen. Um, dimensions are, you know, 5.86 times 2.95 uh, inches. Um, and it has a thickness of about 0 0.31 of an inch. So, you know, standard size for a smartphone. It weighs about 139 grams, so it's pretty light. And I just want to look at the talk about the screen for a second. So, um, you know the uh, five point three inch display, you know seven twenty by twelve eighty pixels. So that's uh, two hundred and seventy seven ppi pixel density. Now a lot of the high end smartphones have you know north of four hundred pixels per inch. But what I want to stress is that you know to me, I mean the movies on this thing look really nice and crisp, um, very good contrast. You know deep blacks, very bright whites. Uh, the color palette is pretty impressive. 
Again, you get 16 million colors on this LCD capacitive touchscreen, which is pretty standard for smartphones. Um, but you know, you're getting great value for your money because again, this is a mid range Android phone and they're very affordable. So that's a good thing to note. Now it doesn't have like all, it doesn't come packed with all the features that you would normally get uh, on its big brother, the LG UX 5.0. But hey, again, I must stress for a mid range phone, um, this is perfect for anyone who just needs a standard phone that can run all of your Android apps. Um, you know, you, you have a very decent screen and it, it's, you know, it does what you want for the price. Now, one thing I'll notice, um, now to me it doesn't make a big deal, but I've been reviewing, like reading some other reviews, and some of the top reviewers are talking about the bezel, that you can actually see. Um, the bezel is noticeable on the sides, um, and for a phone of this size, you know, if you look at like, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and those phones right now, you know, this, they usually extend the screen all the way to the end. Um, and, you know, a lot of the high-end smartphones now, the, the bezel is pretty much disappearing. But to be honest, it doesn't really affect me. I mean, this is a, the screen alone is large enough that um, I think because this is a black bezel, I don't really notice it. Um, and, you know, I'm sure you most probably will be agreeing with me on that as well. Now, the big, big plus in addition to the price of the LG X Power is, in its name, power. Now, standard smartphones come with 3,000 mAh batteries. This one, and I'm surprised it only weighs 139 grams, comes with a 4,100 mAh battery, right? So, um, I have actually charged this thing, and I've actually been using it, and I'll be honest with you, I've been using it fully for, like, roughly two days so far now. Um, and, um, well, I've, well, not now because I've just recharged it, but I've, I've actually used it for about over two days without having to charge it. Um, but when I did charge it on the day three, it still had decent charge on it. So, point to note, a big pro for this phone is the fact that it has a huge battery and you can use your phone, do a ton of tasks, ton of things, and use it for a couple of days without having to worry about it running out of power. So, keep that in mind. Now, the LG X Power does come standard with Marshmallow, so you get Android um, 6.0. And um, what I like about, there is a feature here, a couple of small, simple features that I really like. There's this feature that is pretty cool. Um, it's called the cheese shutter. Um, so what you can actually do, um, and this comes in very handy if you're taking selfies, or if you're just playing lazy, or you cannot find someone to take a picture of you and your friends and family together. You can actually um, give it voice commands to take the picture. It's programmed to recognize me saying the word cheese, whiskey, LG, smile, or kimchi. So let's test it out. I'm going to have my friend here, my Lego Stormtrooper. Alright. Send yourself here in front of the camera. Alright, and I'm actually going to turn on the flash so you can actually see when it's taking the picture uh, alright there you go so cheese kimchi whiskey take a picture doll boy girl Ah, so you see it does work. So when you say one of those five keywords like cheese or kimchi or whiskey or even our friend LG, it takes pictures just on voice commands. That is a really cool feature. I love that. Now there's also another little feature that LG's packed in. And you know what? What I love about LG is the fact that they really do their homework and give you additional bells and whistles that you can really use. I've seen a lot of smartphones that have like, you know, tons and tons of features that we hardly ever use or don't even think are useful. But another cool one, if I, if I pull up from the top here, you can actually see something over here called capture. If I press that, you can actually start writing notes. If your finger or if you have a stylus you can, you know, whatever, right? You can just write any quick notes or memos as an eraser. So you pretty much have instant access to an electronic notepad. 
and then you can just save your notepad either to quick memo plus which is a pre-installed application or to your gallery so I'm just going to start you know save it to quick memo so again to access that that quick um, note taking feature you just pull down from the top here and you can press either the capture plus um, icon and then you can actually start writing uh, you know notes and stuff with your hand or if you have a stylus you can use a stylus but as you can see I just use my index finger and that looks pretty edible sorry not edible well it is edible milk and eggs but elig um, legible that's the word it looks pretty legible there you go milk and eggs right um, and again you have your eraser you can actually if you don't want to write you can just uh, use tech go into text mode and then you can just type um, you know type your 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 note as well you know milk and eggs all right and then you can save that and you know as you can and then you know save the quick memo plus um, and you can easily access your your files from that from that um, from that application and memo plus I believe is oh there you go quick memo plus so and if in, in quick memo plus there's the uh, stuff that I just did and you can just get access to your stuff by pressing there now the fun part let's test this out for games so I did download a couple I usually have like about half a dozen games I usually test when I uh, review phones so
Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once. And, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have... You know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.